please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, I'm really, really excited today because we are going to be doing some more rhinestones. You see this shirt? Yes, honey, born to sparkle. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is, let me back up so you can see a little more. What we're going to do today is I'm going to be showing you how to use a Cricut um, machine. I have the Cricut Maker, but you can use the Explore Air 2. People have asked that. A Cricut machine and a template to go ahead and make a rhinestone shirt. Now, here's the deal. If you have not already, please watch my video that I did with the Dreamer shirt where I created it from Silhouette myself and then I imported it into Cricut. So watch that video. I'll probably put it up here somewhere so you guys can watch that video and then come back to this video and I'm going to show you how to use a template that's already created, already made to upload into your Cricut and then you can make this lovely design here, okay? The only thing I did was search Etsy and I found a design. I have all that information in the video and then I uploaded it into Cricut. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. These uh, rhinestones. So rhinestones, I'm not sure. It might just be me, but these videos have been kind of confusing. So I'm kind of figuring it out myself because I've tried to watch some videos, but they've been kind of confusing to me. So I'm just figuring out myself and I'm going to try to find an easy way for us to learn together. So I'm going to figure it out. Then I'm going to help y'all figure it out as easy as possible. Okay. That's my plan. So I will be having more rhinestone videos. These are SS10s. This is the size. This is very important when you're getting templates that you make sure you're using the correct rhinestone size as what the template is made for, okay? So I'm actually gonna probably do a rhinestone Q&A and some more videos and some more in depth, but let's just go ahead and get into it, okay? Let me show you how I made this cute shirt. Logo. Okay, back again with another rhinestone tutorial video. You know, we got this from the Dollar Tree. This is from the Rhinestone World. This flock is from Heat Transfer Warehouse. So make sure you go ahead and grab that. You could also a get lot. a few other things from Heat Transfer Warehouse. You know, I'm affiliate with them and I do get a small portion of whatever you purchase so make sure you use my link that'll be down in the description is no additional charge to you but i am an affiliate with them um and then we're going to be using this brush which i actually got from wick street vinyl but you could get from anywhere lowe's home depot is just a paintbrush and then we have our rhinestones we're going to be using today crystal ab hot fix rhinestones and possibly the silver hot fix rhinestones. I'll pick, figure out which one I'm going to use later. I personally, um, these were given to me by um, Wick Street Vinyl. So make sure you check them out. Appreciate you guys over there. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started today. Let okay, go. So we're going to be doing this rhinestone thing a little bit differently than before. I am on Etsy. The shop is Pop E I C E Collections NG. Never heard of them before. Literally just search Etsy for some rhinestone templates. And I like this Born to Sparkle. If you have not already seen my Dreamer video, the rhinestone video when I did the shirt Dreamer, you can watch that just so you can see how I created it inside of Silhouette. Um, business edition but for this one we're going to strictly just use a template you can get a template from anywhere i googled an etsy this is what i found so this is what i'm going to be trying out today it's really important a few things though when you're doing um, rhinestones you want to make sure you're using the correct size so this is born to sparkle rhinestone template svg um, it's an instant download for cricut or silhouette it's $6.99 uh, the 
the width is 10.03. That's my birthday, October 3rd. So I think that's kind of a sign. Uh, and then the height is 5.84. Okay. The SS, this is what the rhinestone is, is SS10. That means you'll be using 745 rhinestones for this particular design. Okay. What I do like about it is the description here lets you know it's an instant download. It'll be a zip file. You'll have to unzip it. We're going to be using the SVG. Uh, it says it contains all SS10 circles sized to 3.3 mm or 0.13 inches. Okay, this is a single color design. If we wanted to, we can make it different colors. Um, I'll show you that too, but we're going to just stick with what they're saying for today. Possibly. I don't know. I might switch it up. Um, but yeah, so this is where I'm getting it from because a lot of people always ask where I get things from. Never heard of them before. Hopefully it turns out good. I'm trying this for the first time. Y'all know how I do. So let's go ahead, download it. I'm going to buy it. Then I'm going to download it. Then I'm going to upload it in Cricut Design Space so we can see how that goes. Okay. So let's stay tuned. Okay. So we're inside of Cricut Design Space. We're going to go to new project. Now we're inside of the blank canvas. We're going to go to upload. We're going to go to upload image. We're going to browse. And then we're going to go to born to sparkle. We're going to make sure we're inside of the one that says Cricut specifically. You see there are other options, but we want to make sure we're on the one that says Cricut. Now that we're in, we bring it inside of here, we see this is in a cut image okay we're going to press upload now we're going to click it there and insert the image into our canvas okay once it's inside of our canvas we see that it's 10.7 inches in width and 6.5 in height okay so now we're going to go ahead and go to make it Okay, so now this is how it's going to look on the cutting mat. You do not mirror it or anything. It looks great. It looks perfect. You want to make sure that your flock is aligned with the measurements on the cutting mat. Now we're going to go ahead and get our materials. Now, if you have not watched the first video that I did with the Dreamer shirt, please go and watch that now because I'm going to be using our rhinestone template. Um, for the material and you can check that out in that first video uh, so that you can know exactly what the cut and measure what the cut and pressure and everything is for that all right we're loading everything and we are getting to cutting i do want to let you know that it will take about it took about 32 minutes for it to completely cut so make sure that you pack your patience and do something in the meantime in between time. all right let's check it out and see how it cuts So let's see how this turns out. Okay, that came out a lot better than the first one I did, y'all. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not the right way, but we gonna do it for today. gonna be trouble trying to get it off later i know y'all gave me some tips before but i didn't remember so tell me some more tips to try to get these off without having to do this and i know y'all told me that it's some clear things from the dollar tree i'm gonna run to the store to see if i have some placemats or cut mats or something i'm gonna run and see if i could grab some of those later to try to save um so when I save the templates, I could use that. So I'll try to run to the dollar store later. I probably won't have it published in the video because I'm probably going to try to get this video done before I leave. But on a live or something or the next video, you guys will see it. Okay. All right. Born to Sparkle. 
So now, I'm going to place it on the mat. Okay. So now, step on the mat. And then, I really could brush two different color rhinestones in here if I wanted to. But I'm going to keep it, because I really could just brush them down here. I could cut this off if I wanted to. And I could have the sparkle a different color and have it separated if I wanted to. I could have done it in the Cricut Design space as well if I wanted to. Something different. And I know that I could have cut this off and separated them if I wanted to, to make it easier. But I'm going to see. Yay, and it's the perfect size. I was worried about the size. So I was worried about the size. The whole size is perfect. So good job, Etsy. Oh, it's easy too. And you know what? I'm going to just keep them all the same. These are the Crystal AB Hot Picks again. And then you look and you could either get uh, your finger, your nails, or a tweezer and make sure it's not any double. So remember the last video I had a couple double next to each other. So they got like stuck in the middle. You can, uh oh, be careful. You may want to use a tweezer. I was just using my nails. But you may want to use a tweezer to make sure it doesn't do that. And it's okay. If they come out, just roll over them again. Circle of motion is best because it helps it for some reason get inside of there. See? But like I said, see how easy that was? But if you look close, you can see it's some double. And go ahead and get a tweezer and lift them up. See? So, and then there's another one right there. Just look to make sure there's not any extra on there. And then everything is flipped the correct way. Okay? Now that is what you want to make sure you do. And then you take the transfer plastic. Put it down in the middle and roll it out. Okay, I could have made sure it's a little bit more straight, but that's okay. Because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for that. Then I'm going to take my squeegee to make sure it's all on there really good. And I still see some doubles, but that's okay. I see a couple doubles, one right there, and one right there, one right there, one right there. So I'm going to try to take it off when I flip it over. So now I'm going to lift this up, uh -uh. and a double messed up that one. So I'm going to take it off. Where's my tweezers? Put 
see that one was trying to mess my diamond up. Now it fits perfect inside of there. And then you can take them off. As you see fit. Okay. All right. So now it's ready. Okay. And if you want, you can cut around the edges to make sure it's straight. Okay. You know, we have to make sure we're lint rolling our shirts. We're going to go ahead. It is at 305. It was supposed to be 305. It's at 306. We're going to go ahead and pre press it for a second. So with the more, more rhinestones, you want to be careful again because it's a larger image. Once again, we got our ruler, our t-shirt ruler. We have, we're going to go ahead and lay it down. Make sure that all the rhinestones are the correct size up. Okay. So we went ahead and used our ruler. Take this so it won't melt, <laughs> get burned. We have it all laid down. You could check to make sure everything looks good before you press it. Okay. If it doesn't look good, we can fix it before it gets on there for good. Okay. So this looks good. Everything looks right. We're going to go ahead and slide it under here. We're going to press it for 305 for 15 seconds twice, okay? Okay. I'm going to scoot you guys in so you can see it. So we're going to get closer. <sighs> All right. And then... You can see it's inside of there. Booyah! Born to sparkle. Now I'm going to get y'all a better view. Okay? Good. Ooh, look, y'all. It looks so good. It's nice and tight inside of there. Hey! All right. Born to sparkle. Now y'all get to get a good look at it. Yes! And that's a please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already please join our facebook group queen dreamer we love it over there please make sure you follow me on instagram do dream one is the handle and tiktok do dream one is the handle i love y'all did y'all know that i think y'all knew that Thank you for your time. Y'all be safe out there, you hear? Bye. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Do Dream On. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.